fun. Let me tell you about this awesome 1975 Chevrolet Camaro that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $8,800. This classic beauty is rocking a 350 V8 engine with a TH350 automatic transmission, perfect for cruising down the streets in style. With 109,000 miles on the odometer, this Camaro has seen its fair share of adventures, but it's still going strong. The seller has done some sweet upgrades, including an Edelbrock carb, aluminum intake, and a sick H-pipe dual exhaust system with 2.5. Flowmasters running all the way from the headers. Talk about a mean sound. Now let's be real here. The paint job isn't winning any awards, but hey, that's part of its charm, right? The good news is that the floor and trunk pans are solid, and the quarter panels are in great shape. This Camaro is described as a very solid car all around, making it a perfect daily driver for someone who appreciates a bit of classic muscle. Inside, you'll find a Pioneer radio to keep you entertained on your drives, and those Kragar wheels add a nice touch of vintage style. The seller says it runs and drives well, and it comes with a clean title, which is always a plus. Look, I gotta be honest with you. This Camaro might not be in showroom condition, but it's got character and potential. For $8,800, you're getting a piece of American muscle car history that's ready to hit the road. If you're looking for a project car or just want to cruise in style, this 75 Camaro could be the one for you. So, what do you think? Are you ready to make this Camaro yours and start your own classic car adventure? Two. All right, let's dive deeper into this 1985 Chrysler LeBaron convertible. One thing that really stands out about this car is its surprisingly low mileage. At just 66,000 miles, this LeBaron has barely broken in its four-cylinder engine. That's an average of less than 1,150 miles per year. It's rare to find a car from the 80s with such low mileage, which could explain the $6,500 price tag. The LeBaron was Chrysler's attempt to bring luxury to the masses, and this model represents the tail end of the first generation. It's got that classic boxy 80s styling that's been making a comeback in the collector world lately. The white paint gives it a clean, classic look that never goes out of style. Now let's talk about that convertible top. In the 80s, convertibles were making a comeback after nearly disappearing in the 70s due to fears of safety regulations. This LeBaron was part of that renaissance offering open-air driving in a comfortable, affordable package. The seller mentions that electric everything works, which is a big deal for a car of this age. Often, power windows, locks, and seats are the first things to go in older cars, so it's promising to hear they're all functioning. Another point in this car's favor is the clean title and up-to-date tags and registration. That means you won't have to deal with any DMV headaches if you decide to make this LeBaron yours. The fresh tune-up is another plus. It suggests that the seller has been taking care of the car and keeping up with maintenance. New tires are always a welcome addition too. That's one less thing you'll need to worry about in the near future. While the four-cylinder engine might not be the most exciting for performance enthusiasts, it's worth noting that this was a time when automakers were focusing on fuel efficiency in the wake of the oil crises of the 70s. So while it might not be a speed demon, it should be easy on your wallet at the gas pump. One thing to keep in mind is that parts for these cars might not be as readily available as they are for more common classics. However, the flip side is that you're unlikely to pull up next to another 85 LeBaron convertible at a stoplight. All in all, this LeBaron represents a unique opportunity to own a piece of 80s automotive history. It's not the most valuable or prestigious classic out there, but it's got character in spades. Plus, with its low mileage and apparently excellent condition, it could be a fun weekend cruiser or a quirky daily driver. 3. We're looking at a 1968 Ford Mustang that's currently up for grabs at $12,000. Now I've got to be straight with you, this isn't a pristine show car, but it might just be the project you've been waiting for. Let's start with the elephant in the room. This Mustang comes with a salvage title. That's definitely something to consider, and it explains why the seller describes the condition as fair. But don't write it off just yet, because there's more to this story. Under the hood, we've got a V8 engine, which is always a plus for a classic Mustang. 
The seller mentions that the previous owner, a salvage company, rebuilt the engine, so that's a potential positive. It's paired with an automatic transmission, which has also been rebuilt during the current owner's tenure. Speaking of the current owner, they've had this pony for about a decade, using it as a daily driver and weekend car. During that time, they've put some work into it. We're talking a rebuilt suspension, new tires and rims, and some interior upgrades like a new steering wheel, turn signal, and dash cover. They've also replaced the headlights and taillights. The odometer shows 88,983 miles, which the seller believes to be accurate. Given that they've only added 2,000, 3,000 miles in 10 years, this Mustang hasn't seen much action lately. Now let's be real. At $12,000, this isn't a bargain basement deal for a salvage title car. But for a 68 Mustang with a V8, it's not outrageous either. The key here is to understand what you're getting into. This car needs work, no doubt about it. The paint job isn't mentioned, but given the overall description, I wouldn't expect it to be flawless. If you're looking for a turnkey classic that's ready for shows, this probably isn't your car. But if you're handy with a wrench and looking for a project car with good bones, this could be an interesting opportunity. The major mechanical components have been rebuilt, which gives you a solid foundation to work from. Remember folks, buying any classic car is a journey. This 68 Mustang might require some blood, sweat, and tears, and probably a fair bit of cash to bring it up to its full potential. But for the right person, it could be a rewarding project and a chance to own a piece of American muscle car history. Four, we're checking out a real gem on Craigslist, a 1966 Ford Thunderbird that's up for grabs at $7,500. Now let me tell you, this isn't your average T-Bird, and I'm excited to break it down for you. First off, this 66 Thunderbird is packing some serious heat under the hood. The seller has rebuilt the 390 cubic inch V8, which was already a powerhouse in its stock form. But they didn't stop there. They've added an Edelbrock RPM intake manifold and a Street Demon carburetor, which should really wake up this big block. The Comp 268H cam is a nice touch too, giving it a bit more oomph and probably a sweet lope at idle. And let's talk about that exhaust, Dual Flowmaster 44 Series Mufflers. You know this bird's got a mean growl when you step on the gas. It's all backed by a rebuilt C6 automatic transmission, which is known for its durability and should handle the extra power just fine. The rear end is sporting a 3.9 ratio with a track lock differential, which is a nice compromise between acceleration and highway cruising. It'll get up and go when you want it to, but won't have the engine screaming on the interstate. Now, there are a few mysteries here. The odometer reading is listed as 8, which could mean 108,000 miles, or it could be 8,000 miles since the rebuild. The seller doesn't specify, so that's something you'd want to clarify. The seller describes it as a fun cruiser that sounds good, which tells me it's probably not a show quality restoration, but more of a driver quality classic. That's not a bad thing. It means you can enjoy it without worrying about every little scratch or chip. At $7,500, this Thunderbird seems reasonably priced, especially considering the work that's been done to the drivetrain. It's got a clean title, which is always a plus with older vehicles. One thing to keep in mind, the seller is only interested in trades for an old Nova or Camaro, so they clearly have a thing for classic American muscle. Overall, this 66 Thunderbird sounds like a cool cruiser with some nice performance upgrades. It's probably not going to win any Concours events, but it should be a blast to drive and would definitely turn heads at local car shows or cruise nights. As always, I recommend a thorough inspection before buying any classic car. Check for rust. Make sure all those upgrades were done properly and take it for a good test drive. Five, we're diving into a real piece of American luxury a 1964 Chrysler Imperial Crown Coupe that's currently listed on Craigslist for $5,000. This isn't just any old car. We're talking about the cream of the crop in Mopar's lineup from the mid-60s. Let's start with the good stuff. This Imperial is powered by a mighty 440 V8 engine, which was known for its smooth power delivery and impressive torque. 
It's paired with an automatic transmission, perfect for cruising in style. The seller claims it's a very solid car with no rot, which is fantastic news for a vehicle of this age. They also mention that the paint and chrome are gorgeous, which is a big plus for a car that's all about presence and style. Now here's where we need to be real. This Imperial hasn't run since 2012. That's over a decade of sitting, folks. While it might have been stored properly, you're looking at some serious recommissioning work to get this beauty back on the road. We're talking about potentially rebuilding the carburetor, flushing all the fluids, checking the brakes, and who knows what else. The interior needs to be redone, according to the seller. In a car known for its luxurious appointments, this could be a significant undertaking. We're not just talking about slapping on some seat covers. A proper restoration of an imperial interior can be a costly affair. The odometer shows 70,000 miles, but given the car's age and condition, it's hard to say if that's accurate without more information. It does come with a clean California title, which is always a good thing. At $5,000, this Imperial could be a steal for the right buyer. These cars, when fully restored, can command serious money. However, don't let the low price fool you. Bringing this sleeping beauty back to life will require time, expertise, and a hefty investment. If you're an experienced restorer looking for a project, or if you've always dreamed of owning one of Chrysler's most opulent offerings from the 1960s, this could be your chance. Just remember, you'll need to bring a trailer. This Imperial isn't driving home under its own power. So what do you think? Are you ready to take on this Imperial project and restore it to its former glory? Or does the idea of waking up a sleeping giant after a decade-long nap seem too daunting? Six. We're looking at a true time capsule, a 1981 Lincoln Town Car that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $1,500. Now, I've got to tell you, this one's got me intrigued. First off, let's talk about that odometer reading, 27,777 miles. That's incredibly low for a car that's over 40 years old. If that's original mileage, we're looking at a seriously well-preserved piece of automotive history. The seller describes it as quite incredible and based on the mileage alone, I'm inclined to agree. This town car is packing a V8 engine, which was typical for these luxury boats of the early 80s. It's rear-wheel drive and has an automatic transmission, perfect for smooth, comfortable cruising. The seller states the condition as excellent, which, combined with the low mileage, suggests this Lincoln has been babied its entire life. Now the seller's description is pretty sparse on details, but they do mention that since they own the car, they likely have more information. That's a good sign. It means you can probably get answers to any specific questions you might have about the car's history and condition. The asking price of $11,500 is on the higher side for a 1981 town car. But if the condition truly matches the low mileage, it could be justified. These cars were the epitome of American luxury in their day, and well-preserved examples are becoming increasingly rare. One thing I appreciate about the seller's ad is their openness to offers without seeing the car in person. As they put it, this weeds out the tire kickers. It's a fair point. Anyone seriously interested in a car like this should be ready to make a move. However, as always, I'd strongly recommend seeing the car in person before making any final decisions. Photos can be deceiving, and with a car this old, you'll want to check for any hidden issues especially if you're planning to drive it regularly. So, what do we have here? Potentially, we're looking at an exceptionally well-preserved example of early 80s American luxury. If you've always wanted to experience what it was like to drive a brand new Lincoln Town car off the lot in 1981, this might be as close as you can get in 2023. Is it worth $11,500? That depends on your perspective and what you're looking for. For a collector seeking an immaculate, low-mileage example, it could be a great find. For someone just wanting a cool old car to cruise in, you might find cheaper options out there. Either way, this Lincoln Town car is certainly worth a closer look if you're in the market for a classic luxury cruiser. Just remember to do your due diligence, ask plenty of questions, and if possible, get a professional inspection before making a deal. Seven. Let me tell you about this absolute gem I just stumbled upon. 
1977 Pontiac Firebird that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for a cool $14,500. This beauty is rocking a pristine blue paint job that's actually a one-time factory color repaint, and let me tell you, it's looking fresh. Under the hood, we've got a beefy 301 V8 engine that was dealer replaced at 89,900 miles, so you know it's got plenty of life left in it. Now get this, the seller claims this Firebird is unmolested, which is music to any classic car lover's ears. It's sporting a three-speed automatic transmission, no overdrive, keeping it old school. And of course, it's rear-wheel drive because that's how these bad boys roll. The interior is original and in really good condition, which is pretty impressive for a car of this vintage. All the goodies are working too. Heat, AC, rear defrost, two-speed wipers, and even the AM radio. Talk about a blast from the past. With 102,297 miles on the odometer, which has rolled over, this Firebird has seen some action, but still looks and runs great. The seller's even got the original window sticker. That's a nice touch for the collectors out there. Now I gotta be real with you guys. The seller says it's in excellent condition, and from what I can see, it does look pretty sweet. But remember, it's always a good idea to check it out in person and maybe get a mechanic's opinion before pulling the trigger. All in all, if you're in the market for a classic American muscle car that's been well-maintained and still turns heads, this 77 Firebird might just be your ticket to cruising in style. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Craigslist car finds. 8. We're taking a look at a real piece of American automotive history, a 1959 Ford Fairlane Galaxy 500 that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $11,500. This four-door sedan is about as close to original as you're likely to find for a car of this vintage, and it's got some interesting features that make it stand out. Under the hood, we've got a rare V8332CI engine. Now, the seller admits it's a bit cold-blooded, but hey, that's not unusual for a 60-plus-year-old car, right? Once it warms up, though, they say it runs great for its age. The exterior is a classic two-tone paint job, teal green with white. Now, I've got to be honest with you folks, the paint has seen better days. There are some minor dents and scratches on the hood and down the right side, and unfortunately, it looks like someone took a key to it at some point. The seller acknowledges it could use a new paint job, so keep that in mind if you're considering this beauty. Inside, though, is where this fair lane really shines. The interior is in great shape for a car of this age, which is a testament to how well it's been cared for. It spent most of its life garaged or under cover, which explains why it's held up so well. Some nice touches include electric windshield wipers, pretty fancy for 1959, and a new radio. The automatic transmission should make for smooth cruising, too. Now, with 121,146 miles on the odometer, which has rolled over, this fair lane has certainly seen its share of road, but it still likes to drive and handles well for its age, according to the seller. Look, this isn't a perfect car. It's got some cosmetic issues, and it might need a bit of TLC to get it running smoothly in cold weather. But if you're looking for an authentic piece of late 50s Americana that's been well-preserved and has tons of character, this fair lane could be just the ticket. Just remember, the seller's not interested in lowball offers. So come prepared if you're serious about taking this classic home. And as always, it's being sold as is with no warranty. So a good inspection would be a smart move. That's the scoop on this 1959 Ford Fairlane Galaxy 500. If you're into preserving automotive history or just want a unique ride that'll turn heads wherever you go, this could be the car for you. 9. We're checking out a sweet piece of 80s American muscle a 1982 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme that's up for grabs at $7,250. This two-door beauty is packing some serious old-school cool, so let's dive in. Under the hood, we've got a 307 Olds V8 paired with an automatic transmission. Now here's the kicker. This Cutlass has only seen about 111,000 miles, with the engine itself clocking in at around 70,000. That's pretty low mileage for a car pushing 40 years old. The seller's done a nice job keeping this Cutlass up to date where it counts. You've got a Pioneer stereo with CD player, tilt steering, AC, and rear defrost. 
It's riding on some slick 15 aftermarket mag rims, but if you're a purist, don't worry. The original 14 factory rally rims with caps and rings are included too. Now let's talk about the work that's been done. About 10,000 miles ago, this Cutlass got some serious TLC. We're talking new brake pads, shoes, rotors and drums, fresh trans fluid and filter, a new AC pump and evaporator, front stabilizer link kit, new shocks all around, water pump and hoses. Even better, the doors and rear bumper were swapped out with rust-free California parts. That's a lot of preventative maintenance that you won't have to worry about. The seller says it starts, runs, and drives very nice, describing it as a great survivor, driver. That's music to my ears, a classic that you can actually enjoy on the road without babying it too much. Now, I've got to be straight with you folks. The seller doesn't mention anything about the paint condition or interior wear, so you'll want to check those out in person. But given the care that's been put into the mechanicals, I'd be optimistic. At $7,250 with both sets of rims, or $7,000 without the rally rims, this Cutlass Supreme seems pretty fairly priced for a well-maintained example of 80s GM goodness. If you're in the market for a classic cruiser that won't break the bank, this Oldsmobile could be just the ticket. Remember, always inspect a car in person before buying, and maybe get a mechanic to take a look. But from what I can see, this Cutlass looks like a solid choice for anyone wanting to dip their toes into classic car ownership. That's the scoop on this 1982 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. If you're into 80s style with a V8 rumble, this could be the car for you. 10. We're taking a look at a real gem from the early 70s, a 1971 Oldsmobile 98 that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $14,500. Let me tell you, this is one sweet ride that's sure to turn heads wherever it goes. First off, let's talk about the condition. The seller claims it's in excellent shape, and from what they're saying, it sounds like they're not exaggerating. This Olds 98 is a coupe model, which gives it that sleek, sporty look that was so popular in the early 70s. The paint is described as brown, which was a classic color choice for these luxury boats back in the day. Now here's where it gets really interesting. The odometer is showing just 65,000 miles. For a car that's pushing 50 years old, that's incredibly low mileage. It suggests this Olds has been babied and well cared for over the years. Under the hood, we've got a V8 engine, which was standard for these full-size luxury cars. The seller says it runs and drives great with no mechanical issues, which is music to any classic car lover's ears. It's paired with an automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive, giving you that classic American driving experience. But wait, there's more. The seller has clearly put some work into this beauty. They mention a complete suspension overhaul, a full tune-up, and new brakes front and back. That's a lot of preventative maintenance that you won't have to worry about for a while. One of the biggest concerns with any classic car is rust, but the seller emphatically states that there's no rust at all on this Olds. That's a huge plus especially for a car of this vintage. Now, I always like to remind folks that it's important to see a classic car in person before making a purchase. While the seller's description sounds great, it's always best to verify these things with your own eyes and maybe get a mechanic to take a look. All in all, this 1971 Oldsmobile 98 sounds like a fantastic find for anyone looking for a well-maintained piece of American luxury car history. With its low mileage, recent maintenance, and apparently rust-free body, this could be a great car for cruising or showing. So, if you're in the market for a classic Oldsmobile that's ready to hit the road, this 7198 might just be the ticket. 11. We're taking a look at a piece of American automotive history, a 1966 Ford Mustang that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $9,600. Now, I've got to be straight with you folks. This one's a bit of a mixed bag, so let's dive in and see what we're dealing with. First off, we've got a classic 66 Mustang Coupe in red. That's already enough to get most car fans' hearts racing. Under the hood, we're looking at the factory 289 V8 engine, which is a solid power plant for these first-generation Mustangs. It's paired with a three-speed manual transmission, so you'll get that authentic, engaging driving experience that muscle car enthusiasts crave. 
Now here's where things get interesting. The seller says the mechanical part of the car is in very good condition and they've got a list of parts that have been replaced. That's definitely a plus. It suggests that someone's been taking care of the important bits under the hood. With 8,990 miles on the odometer, it's not exactly low mileage, but it's not unreasonable for a car of this age either. But here's where I've got to keep it real with you. The seller has listed the overall condition as fair, and they're upfront about some issues. They admit that the car needs some bodywork done, and there's a small amount of rust in a couple of areas. For a Mustang of this era, some rust isn't uncommon, but it's definitely something you'll want to address if you're thinking about picking this one up. Given the price point and the described condition, this Mustang might be best suited for someone who's looking for a project car, something they can work on and restore over time. It sounds like the mechanical bits are in decent shape, which is a good starting point, but you'll need to be prepared to put some work, and probably some money, into the body and paint. Remember folks, when dealing with classic cars like this, it's always a good idea to see them in person and maybe get a trusted mechanic to take a look before you buy. You'll want to check out those rust spots and assess just how much bodywork might be needed. All in all, this 66 Mustang could be a great opportunity for the right buyer. It's got the classic Mustang style, a V8 engine, and a manual transmission. If you're willing to put in some elbow grease, or invest in professional restoration, you could end up with a really sweet ride. That's the scoop on this 1966 Ford Mustang. If you're looking for a classic pony car project, this could be your chance. 12. We're checking out a real blast from the past. A 1977 Pontiac Firebird that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $1,300. Now let's dive into this piece of American muscle and see what we've got. First off, the seller claims this Firebird is in excellent condition, which is pretty impressive for a car that's over four decades old. It's a coupe model, giving it that sleek, sporty look that made these cars so iconic in the 70s. Under the hood, we've got a V8 engine, which is exactly what you want in a classic muscle car like this. It's paired with an automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive, so you'll get that classic American driving experience. The odometer is showing 95,900 miles, which isn't too bad for a car of this vintage. It suggests that this Firebird has been driven and enjoyed but not run into the ground. The seller states that it runs good, which is always good to hear, but keep in mind that's a pretty vague description. Now I've got to be honest with you folks, while the seller describes the condition as excellent, they don't provide much detail about the car's history, any restoration work, or specific mechanical condition. When dealing with classic cars like this, it's always a good idea to get more information and, if possible, see the car in person before making a decision. One interesting note is that delivery is available, which could be convenient if you're not local to the seller. All in all, this 1977 Pontiac Firebird could be a great find for someone looking to get into classic car ownership or add to their collection. The price point of $13,300 seems reasonable for a Firebird in excellent condition, but as always, you'll want to verify the car's condition for yourself. Remember, with any classic car purchase, it's wise to have a trusted mechanic take a look and maybe even get a vehicle history report if possible. You want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting into. So, if you're in the market for a piece of 70s muscle car history and this Firebird catches your eye, it might be worth checking out. 13. We're taking a look at a real gem, a 1968 Ford Ranchero that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $13,800. This beauty is a perfect blend of classic car style and pickup truck utility, and let me tell you, it's got some interesting features. First off, let's talk about the heart of this beast. It's packing a V8 engine, and according to the seller, it sounds great. That's music to any car lover's ears. It's paired with an automatic transmission, which the seller says provides a smooth driving experience. Now here's something interesting. The odometer is showing just 1,000 miles. The seller doesn't mention if this is after a rollover or perhaps after a restoration, so that's definitely something you'd want to clarify. The Ranchero is sporting a red paint job, which is always a head-turner on classic cars. The seller describes it as a nice classic car, 
but doesn't go into detail about the body condition, so you'd want to check that out in person. Here's where it gets really good. The seller says this ranchero has been recently serviced with fresh fluids, a fresh tune-up, and good tires. They claim it runs great and is reliable enough for daily driving. That's a big plus for anyone looking for a classic they can actually use and not just admire in the garage. Speaking of garages, this Ranchero is a California car, which often means less rust than you'd find in other parts of the country. It comes with a clean California title, although interestingly, the seller mentions it's located in Northeast Mesa, AZ. Now, I've got to be straight with you folks. The seller doesn't provide many details about the interior condition or any potential issues. They do say, what you see is what you get. So you definitely want to give this beauty a thorough inspection in person. At $13,800, the seller seems confident in their pricing, mentioning that other rancheros at this price point are often in worse shape. They're not interested in low-ball offers, so come prepared if you're serious about taking this classic home. All in all, this 1968 Ford Ranchero sounds like it could be a great find for someone looking for a classic car-truck hybrid that's ready to drive. With its V8 engine, recent servicing, and California history, it's got a lot going for it. But as always, make sure to see it in person and maybe get a mechanic's opinion before making a decision. 14. We're taking a look at a real blast from the past, a 1985 Dodge 600 convertible that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $7,600. Now, I know what you're thinking, a Dodge 600? But hear me out, because this little gem might just surprise you. First off, let's talk about the condition. The seller claims it's in excellent shape, which is pretty impressive for a car that's pushing 40 years old. It's sporting a yellow paint job, which is sure to turn some heads on sunny days with the top down. Speaking of the top, the seller emphasizes that the convertible roof does not leak. That's a big deal for any convertible, especially one of this vintage. Under the hood, we've got a four-cylinder engine. Now, it's not going to win any drag races, but the seller notes it's a non-turbo model, which means it should be pretty reliable. They say it starts, runs good, and stops. All the basics you want in a car, right? The odometer is showing 87,000 miles, which isn't too shabby for a car of this age. It suggests this Dodge has been driven and enjoyed, but not run into the ground. It's paired with an automatic transmission, making it an easy, breezy cruiser for those weekend drives. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The seller claims this 600 is rust-free, which is a big deal for any car from the 80s. They've also put on new tires and rear shocks, so you shouldn't have to worry about those for a while. I've got to be honest with you folks, the Dodge 600 isn't usually the first car that comes to mind when people think of classic convertibles. But that's what makes this one kind of cool. It's a unique piece of 80s automotive history, and in this condition, it could be a real conversation starter at car shows. At $7,600, it's not exactly cheap for a Dodge 600, but if it's truly in excellent condition as the seller claims, it could be worth it for the right buyer. Remember, always check out a classic car in person before making a purchase and maybe get a trusted mechanic to take a look. All in all, this 1985 Dodge 600 convertible could be a fun, quirky choice for someone looking for a unique classic convertible that won't break the bank. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but for the right enthusiast, this could be a really cool find. 15. We're diving into a real piece of 1960s Americana, a 1964 Plymouth Fury that's up for grabs on Craigslist for just $5,900. Now, let me tell you, this isn't your average classic car listing, so buckle up. First off, we're looking at a four-door sedan model, which the seller interestingly calls a crew cab. It's rocking a brown paint job, which might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's certainly period correct. Under the hood, we've got the factory 361 big block V8. That's some serious muscle for a family sedan. Now here's where it gets interesting. The seller claims this Fury has low original miles, with the odometer showing 99,000. They mention it's a box A on the title, which typically indicates original mileage. That's pretty impressive for a nearly 60-year-old car. The seller has put some serious work into this Fury. 
We're talking a new fuel system, new tank, all new brakes, including front power disc brakes, new wheels and tires, rebuilt carb, new plugs, fuel pump, starter, and battery. That's a lot of new parts, folks. One cool feature is the push-button transmission, a quirky touch that was all the rage in the 60s. The seller says everything works on the car, which is always good to hear with a classic like this. But let's keep it real. This fury isn't perfect. The seller admits there's rust in the rear fender wells, and there's a dent in the left rear fender. The front seat needs reupholstering, but the seller says that can be done and included in the asking price. Despite these issues, the seller describes the overall condition as good and says it starts, runs, drives, and stops great. They even suggest it could be daily driven, which is pretty bold for a car of this vintage. At $5,900 OBO, this Fury seems priced to move. The seller mentions they're making room for other projects, so there might be some wiggle room on the price. All in all, this 1964 Plymouth Fury looks like it could be a great project for someone who wants a unique classic with a lot of potential. It's not perfect, but with the amount of work already done, it could be a solid starting point for further restoration or just a fun weekend cruiser as is. Remember folks, always check out a classic car in person before buying and maybe get a mechanic to take a look. But if you're in the market for a piece of 60s Mopar history that won't break the bank, this Fury might just be the ticket. 16. We're taking a look at a real gem from the early 80s, a 1981 Chevy Corvette that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $13,500. Let me tell you, this one's got some interesting features that might just make you sit up and take notice. First off, we're looking at a silver on silver color scheme, which is a classic look for these C3 Corvettes. Under the hood, we've got the 350 cubic inch V8 engine paired with an automatic transmission. Now the 81 wasn't the most powerful year for Corvettes, but it's still got that classic American V8 rumble that we all love. The seller claims this VET is in excellent condition which is pretty impressive for a car that's over 40 years old. With 96,000 miles on the odometer, it's been driven and enjoyed, but not run into the ground. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The seller has put a ton of work into this car. We're talking new glass T-tops, and they've even thrown in the solid tops for good measure, new door panels, and new carpeting. That's a lot of the interior sorted right there. But wait, there's more. The factory radio has been rebuilt, there's a new GM power antenna, and the rear brakes have been overhauled with new calipers, rotors, and pads. The engine has been resealed, and the transmission has been serviced. That's a lot of preventative maintenance that you won't have to worry about for a while. Some nice features include cruise control, AC, and a heater. All the comforts you need for cruising in style. Now. I always like to remind folks that it's important to see a classic car in person before making a purchase. While the seller's description sounds great, it's always best to verify these things with your own eyes and maybe get a mechanic to take a look. All in all, this 1981 Chevy Corvette sounds like it could be a fantastic find for someone looking for a well-maintained piece of American sports car history. The seller says it's a beauty that turns heads, and with all the work that's been put into it, I'm inclined to believe them. At $30,500, it's not the cheapest C3 Corvette out there, but considering the condition and all the recent work, it could be a good value for the right buyer. If you're in the market for a classic vet that's ready to hit the road, this 81 might just be the ticket. 17. We're diving into a real gem from the mid-70s, a 1976 Ford Elite that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $14,000. Let me tell you, this one's a time capsule that's sure to turn some heads. First off, let's talk about what we're looking at here. The Ford Elite was Ford's attempt to capture some of that personal luxury coupe market that was so hot in the 70s. And this example seems to be a stellar representation of the breed. Under the hood, we've got a 351 Windsor V8 engine paired with an automatic transmission. That's a solid, reliable powertrain that should provide plenty of smooth cruising power. The seller says the motor is nice and quiet and runs great, which is always good to hear. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The odometer shows just 21,160 miles. The seller claims these are original miles, which is incredibly low for a car that's pushing 50 years old. 
If true, that's practically delivery mileage. The exterior is described as an eye-catching yellow with a white vinyl top. That's a classic 70s color combo that's sure to stand out in a sea of modern grayscale cars. The seller says it's in great shape, and being a Texas car that's been stored inside, they claim there's no rust and it's never seen snow. That's a big plus for any classic car buyer. Inside, you've got factory air conditioning and power steering, adding some modern conveniences to your classic driving experience. The seller mentions that the car rides really nice going down the road, which is exactly what you want from a big, comfortable cruiser like this. One of the most appealing aspects of this Elite is that it's all original with no modifications. For collectors and enthusiasts who value originality, that's a huge selling point. They've even put new tires on it, so you're ready to hit the road right away. Now, I always like to remind folks that it's important to see a classic car in person before making a purchase. While the seller's description sounds great, it's always best to verify these things with your own eyes and maybe get a mechanic to take a look. At $14,000, this Ford Elite isn't cheap, but if it's truly in the condition described and with such low mileage, it could be a fair price for what seems to be an exceptionally well-preserved piece of 70s automotive history. So, if you're in the market for a classic personal luxury coupe that stands out from the crowd, this 1976 Ford Elite could be just the ticket. It's a slice of pure 70s Americana that looks ready to cruise. 18. We're taking a look at a real piece of American luxury. A 1969 Cadillac Eldorado that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $15,000. Now let me tell you, this big beauty has got some stories to tell. First off, we're looking at a coupe model of the Eldorado, which was Cadillac's top-of-the-line personal luxury car back in the day. Under the hood, we've got a V8 engine, which would have been a 472 cubic inch monster in 1969, paired with an automatic transmission. Interestingly, this Eldorado is front-wheel drive, which was pretty innovative for its time. Now here's where things get a bit tricky. The seller claims the car has 100,000 miles on it, but also mentions that the odometer is broken. So we're kind of in the dark about the true mileage here. It's always good to be cautious when the actual mileage is unknown. The seller says, this Eldorado is 90% restored and in excellent condition. They mention it's never been driven in winter and has always been garaged, which is great news for a classic car. The interior has been restored, which is a big plus. Those big Cadillac interiors can be expensive to refurbish. One interesting note is that the car has a custom paint job. The seller mentions it needs a wet sand so it might not be quite perfect yet. They've also put new tires on it, which is always a good safety measure for an older car. Now, I've got to be honest with you folks. While the seller describes the condition as excellent, there are a few question marks here. The broken odometer and the unfinished paint job suggest that there might still be some work to do. It would definitely be worth seeing this car in person and maybe getting a mechanic to take a look before making a decision. That being said, if this Eldorado is as good as described, it could be a great find for someone looking for a classic luxury cruiser. These big Cadillacs are all about style and comfort, and they can be real head-turners at car shows. At $15,000, it's not the cheapest classic car out there, but for a largely restored 1969 Eldorado, it could be a fair price if everything checks out. Just remember, with any classic car purchase, it's important to do your due diligence. So, if you're in the market for a piece of late 60s luxury and this Eldorado catches your eye, it might be worth checking out. 19. We're taking a look at a real land yacht, a 1973 Cadillac Fleetwood limo that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for just $4,000. Now, let me tell you, this isn't your average classic car listing, so buckle up. First off, we're looking at a Fleetwood limo. That's right, a limo. This beast is the epitome of 1970s luxury and excess. It's sporting a black paint job, which is always classy for a limo. Under the hood, we've got a V8 engine, which in 73 would have been a massive 472 cubic inch, 7.7 .7 liter, power plant. It's paired with an automatic transmission and rear wheel drive, as you'd expect from a big American luxury car of this era. Now here's where we need to keep it real. The seller describes the condition as good, 
but they're pretty sparse on details. They do mention that it runs and drives, which is always a plus for a nearly 50-year-old vehicle, especially one as complex as a limo. However, they also note that the odometer has rolled over, so we have no idea of the true mileage on this behemoth. The lack of detailed information in the listing is a bit of a red flag. There's no mention of the interior condition, any restoration work, or potential issues. The seller seems to prefer calls or texts over emails, which might suggest they're not too keen on leaving a paper trail of information. At $4,000, this Fleetwood limo is priced pretty low for a classic Cadillac, even one that's seen some miles. This could mean it needs some work, or it could be a great deal. It's hard to say without more information. Now, I've got to be straight with you folks. A car like this could be a real project. 70s limos are complex beasts with lots of luxury features that can be expensive to repair or replace. Plus, with its size, you'll need a pretty big garage to store it. That being said, if you're looking for a unique project car, or maybe even thinking about starting a vintage limo service, this could be an interesting opportunity. Just remember, always check out a classic car in person before buying. And with something this old and complex, a mechanics inspection would be a smart move. All in all, this 1973 Cadillac Fleetwood limo is an intriguing find. It's got potential to be a real showstopper with some TLC, but it could also be a money pit if it needs a lot of work. If you're brave enough to take on a project of this magnitude, it could be a fun ride. That's the scoop on this 73 Caddy limo. If you're into unique classics and aren't afraid of a challenge, this could be the ride for you. 20. We're taking a look at a real gem from the 1950s, a 1956 Pontiac Pathfinder Deluxe that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $7,600. Now let me tell you, this isn't your average classic car, so let's dive in and see what we've got. First off, we're looking at a four-door sedan model, which is perfect for those who want to bring the whole family along for a nostalgic ride. The seller describes it as being in excellent condition, which is pretty impressive for a car that's pushing 70 years old. It's sporting a blue paint job, which was a popular color choice in the 50s, and really captures that era's vibe. Under the hood, we've got a straight six 261 cubic inch engine. Now, it's not the V8 that some might expect in a 50s American car, but these inline sixes were known for their reliability and smooth operation. It's paired with a three-speed manual transmission, so you'll get that authentic, engaging driving experience that many classic car enthusiasts crave. The seller says it runs good, which is always nice to hear about a car of this vintage. However, they're pretty sparse on other details. There's no mention of the interior condition, any restoration work, or the mileage. They do invite potential buyers to call for more information, which is probably a good idea given the limited details in the listing. Now, I've got to be honest with you folks. While the seller describes the condition as excellent, it's always a good idea to see a classic car in person before making a decision. Without more detailed information or photos, it's hard to gauge the true condition of this Pontiac. That being said, if this 1956 Pontiac Pathfinder Deluxe is indeed in excellent condition as claimed, $7,600 could be a fair price. These aren't as common as some other 50s classics, which adds to their appeal for collectors looking for something a bit different. Remember, with any classic car purchase, it's important to do your due diligence. Get as much information as you can, see the car in person if possible, and maybe even get a trusted mechanic to take a look. All in all, this 56 Pontiac Pathfinder Deluxe could be a great find for someone looking for a unique piece of 1950s automotive history. It's got that classic 50s style, a reliable straight-six engine, and the charm of a manual transmission. If you're in the market for a classic family cruiser that stands out from the crowd, this Pontiac might just be the ticket. That's the scoop on this 1956 Pontiac Pathfinder Deluxe. If you're into 50s classics and want something a bit different from the usual Chevy or Ford offerings, this could be the ride for you.